Is going to Foodie Land worth it? In this video, I'll share the food I bought and my strategy for optimizing my money and experiences. My name is Nick Starchild, and I make videos about traveling as a transgender man of color. Foodie Land is a night market featuring food, shopping, games, and live entertainment. It is mainly in California, like cities Sacramento, Berkeley, and San Diego. I decided to go to the one in Berkeley. I was mainly interested in eating the food, to be honest. I wasn't really interested in the games or entertainment. After looking at some of the reviews, I knew there were some mixed feelings about the event. I wanted to experience it for myself though. My partner and I decided to go with the plan of attack. First, I got free tickets from Eventbrite. I wanted to park on the street if possible, but knew that was not probably likely because we were coming pretty late in the day. But it worked out and someone left as we drove up to the location, and that saved us $15 in parking. I also looked at the vendors listed before coming to get a sense of what I wanted to eat. Made sure we only bought things we wouldn't make at home and couldn't easily get in the Bay Area. We also agreed buying fresh grilled meat is worth the upcharge as we find if you get food right off of the coals, it just tastes the best and it's the freshest and it's worth paying that premium. Let me uh, just go ahead and jump into this video and show you some live footage. Going to the Foodie Land in Berkeley and scored parking on the street here, which was hard to get, but I was patient. Only had to wait 30 seconds for <laughs> someone to leave. As you can see, it's quite busy event, but lots of good food all around. Many, many stalls. Our first stop was build your own esquite. Uncopped corn. <sighs> I got a ube orchata. Already messing up my rule not to get things I can get elsewhere. What? I appreciated this as some of the vendors had really complex menu items. The portions were also quite large, but for the price, it seemed very fair. We stopped by Doe May. This donut shop has an actual location in Union City with hours of 10 a.m. to sell out Thursday through Saturday. And apparently they sell out every day. So I was super excited to try these flavors of guava, mango, and ube. We ate these at home and they were insane. Watch until the end of the video to see our review. these frog legs for $20, which is the appropriate size for what this is, um, but is it worth $20? I don't know. We'll see when I eat it. <laughs> we, we headed over to Yakitori Yado and got Yakitori with mochi on a stick. That took a really long time to get, but it was pretty delicious. Uh, they are a designated food stand and you can find them pretty much at many food festivals and events. Say that one more time. Big meat stick, $5, no wait. Mochi and chicken sticks, we had to wait for like 10, 15 minutes, I'd say. And it was like $18? It was like $18. Mm, okay. The real question is, does it taste good?
Here is all of the entertainment setup. At that time, they were having a DJ playing some uh, dance music, and then in the back, there was some entertainment and play area for children. We got the pork belly, the pork neck, and the beef tongue. Mm. Right next door, there was a Turkish coffee place, and Jay really wanted to try some. She said it was pretty good. I ended up getting corn on the cob with nacho cheese dust dipped in a Doritos chip bag. This was pretty epic. I won't even try to say the name of this company, but they make macarons, um, and they are LA based. We ended up getting horchata macaron, strawberry cheesecake, and a Hello Kitty. That was $15 <laughs> for that Hello Kitty. Like I said, we really are obsessed with Ube. Ube is a really big deal in the Bay Area. You can find it at a lot of restaurants and eateries. Yeah, it's a full parking lot now, <laughs> and we got to walk, we got a bit of a walk to get out of here. So, that was pretty interesting. We um, probably spent about $200, but uh, was able to eat a lot of food that I don't normally eat, and we, uh, we bought food that we haven't eaten yet, like donuts and um, Spam Asubi and things like that. So I'm excited to eat those later, and jerky and stuff. And we didn't pay for parking, so we saved a lot of money there, and we didn't... Like $15 is a lot of money. <laughs> and then we also didn't pay for parking and we didn't pay the entrance fee because it's free now, which is appropriate. And yeah, so it's pretty cool. I think um, definitely worth it if you don't have to park. <laughs> I don't know, paying $15 to park seems stupid, but that's my opinion. They gotta pay for the venue somehow. They gotta pay the Yeah, I understand why, but I'm like, God, it's so much money. But anywho, I had a good time. It was worth coming. And uh, maybe next year. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. This is all the food that we brought home. So we got some Jugno Masubi, which is fried Masubi. And then fried Masubi with um, uh, hot Cheetos. And then horchata macaron, strawberry cheesecake macaron, and Hello Kitty, which costs... Hello Kitty costs $8 but the other ones are 350 And then got some really fun um, jerky here that I wanted to try. So really excited to try those out. And this pie, it was gluten-free pie at this place called Delightful Foods. And they had all like regular type pies, but they also had some gluten-free ones. So that was dope. And donuts, guava, mango, and um, ube. ube, yes. Cream filled, very excited. From, what is this place called? Doe Wee <laughs> Doe Wee And then this is the aftermath of nacho cheese, because nacho cheese Dorito chips from the corn on the cob that I had that was coated in Dorito chips. It was fabulous, it was so good. All right, that's it. Doe Wee Oh my God, that was um, delicious. Fucking nuts. I don't think I've ever had donut like that. Donuts. That ube was ube. -ing. <laughs> that guava was like straight, straight guava. And that mango tasted like mango lassi. Wow. That's crazy. The guava, you said you called it like a cheese Danish guava situation mm -hmm. yeah oh man that's good that's good all right thanks for watching this video really appreciate you being here and i'll see you in the next video later